Rumi or Juliana and Dorothea, and this is Ludovica's and Leopold's story for Geobates. We are sisters from Bavaria, Germany. Leo is four year old Magia Wischler, a Hungarian pointing dog. Our family live in the countryside on a modern organic farm surrounded by meadows, forests and fields. Leo and Ludovica met in mid-June 2021. Lou's mother dropped her off in the garden and she came by once more and then she didn't anymore. We were watching her from the house. The fawn was terribly hungry and that's when we had to intervene. She's a little bit limping, so maybe she wasn't fast enough to follow her mom. Leo interacted immediately. He instinctively knew what to do. We simply adopted the fawn without us having anything to do. The mothers and Leo is the daddy. A fawn is not a pet, needs special care and devoted attention. So you have to invest a lot of time, for example, giving milk every two hours, day and night. And I went out every night regularly, bringing her the milk in very small bottles, and later the bottles get bigger and bigger. I am the baby dear fawn mama of the night, <laughs> and she's the day mother. I went out in the nights with rain and everything, and wind and storm, but we decided to have her outside because it's a wild animal. It always was very strict that I left after maximum half an hour during the night shift, so she shouldn't get used to having someone with her 20 She was tactical with the fans around her and she really learned to be herself. She started to walk around much more and the radius was going bigger and bigger. Leo was protecting her all the time. She had that trust that she's not alone. Sometimes it's so funny that he acts like a deer and she acts like, like a, a dog. dog. <laughs> He's eating grass much more than any and other dog I ever saw before. In the beginning, when she went out to figure out how it is in the wilderness, she was like so, I don't know if I want to enter the woods. But thanks to Leo, I was there. hey, I'm going in there. You can go in there as well. You always followed Leo everywhere. So when he was running in the forest, then she was following him. And when he was sniffing around, she was sniffing around. It's like family. It was quite interesting that the places where we as mothers were going with her, she liked to go there on her own. We are living far in the countryside, but there's also a street. But we always try to walk away from the street. And that's what she's doing automatically. It's sad that we can't see her anymore <laughs> so often, but she is wearing an orange color. So that color is protecting her from hunters. She don't like other people. She don't like other dogs. She is just going to us or to Leo. Our area knows that there's a deer outside with color on it, the orange one. And so they are informed, they know the pictures. And so I don't think that anything will happen to her. It looks natural on them. And it's not something that the other deer is saying, oh, what is that? So it's not disturbing the interaction. 
in the early morning when I'm going to the garden I do know that she's in the woods and having fun with her friends maybe she's not far away in the field but the grass is too high and I can't see her and then maybe she jumps out what surprised us the most was how quickly Lou accepted Leo. It was fantastic how Leo handled the whole situation. This extraordinary friendship shows that you can live together and trust each other despite the biggest differences. I think sometimes Leo just don't get it while she's that big now. <laughs> He's running out and watching for her and sometimes she's here and sometimes not.